Uh, I'm very glad uh, to see all of you here for this program. Welcome to ICTS, those of you who are here for the first time. And uh, uh, thanks to all the organizers, especially Amit, for putting it together. So I will uh, just give a very uh, quick overview, now I won't take very much of your time, uh, of what ICTS is and uh, uh, what, what our goals are, etc. Uh, 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 so, uh, uh, so ICTS is actually uh, uh, in some sense uh, almost 10 years old uh, because it was established in 2007. Uh, uh, but so far uh, it has been, it was functioning uh, from uh, temporary facilities in the IASC campus. Uh, um, uh, so we see ourselves as uh, some kind of an enabling center which takes uh, research in India uh, to a, a higher plane, uh, particularly in the areas of basic sciences and mathematics. Uh, and uh, so how, uh, how exactly uh, do we see ourselves as enabling? Uh, in sort of in three ways, in sort of we have three core mandates. Uh, one of them, and which is uh, uh, w uh, what you're here as part of, is to uh, have high quality visitor driven programs in schools of varying duration. And yours is one of the uh, long ones, and we hope to have uh, several, uh, we hope to move towards a format where we have such long extended programs uh, like in many of the other uh, comparative institutes uh, uh, in the rest of the world which do this, uh, uh, which organize programs. Uh, so the idea is in India we haven't had uh, such a facility where we could bring together uh, the best researchers in India and from outside uh, to come together uh, and interact and share expertise in a more uh, sort of an extended format compared to a conference uh, or something so that there's chance to, for people to collaborate and, uh, and uh, hopefully come up with uh, new things. Uh, exciting new things, and uh, uh, and I think a period like the current program is is ideal for uh, uh, something like that. Uh, the second prong of our mandate is our in-house research, and we hope uh, we have. Uh, uh, we have a small but uh, a very strong uh, set of faculty uh, in various overlapping areas in the theoretical sciences. Uh, and these are people who have very strong strengths in their respective areas, but with sort of very open to uh, interests across disciplines. So we don't have strict departments or groups. Uh, we, uh, we encourage people to sort of talk across. Um, uh, so that's the, so, uh, so our research is our second prong. And then our third prong is uh, outreach, uh, the third uh, mandate. Uh, and this is, um, uh, of course, all about communicating the excitement of research to the general public, uh, partnering with various organizations involved in science education, and Amit here has been very active in some of these things. Uh, and, uh, and more generally, we hope to uh, use ICTS as a platform where uh, uh, one can engage with society on issues which need scientific, serious scientific input. Uh, so that, so these are, this is briefly what uh, uh, ICTS uh, is about. Uh, but let me just tell you a little bit more about each of these uh, aspects. So, uh, so, I, so as I said, we have a small faculty, about a dozen or so, uh, but a fairly a bigger f a set of people in terms of visitors, postdocs, and graduate students, so that uh, it, uh, there's always a sort of a, a critical number of people around. Uh, we have started a graduate program in physics. It's now the third or fourth year of it. And this year, the maths graduates program has started in cooperation with the IFR CAM and IASC. Uh, um, the current research areas at ICTS include a group in astrophysical relativity, which was in the limelight recently for uh, having uh, been part of the LIGO collaboration, and seven of our members, most of whom are junior students and postdocs, were part of the LIGO paper and, and were also the awardees of the Breakthrough Prize uh, uh, that was awarded for this discovery. Uh, data assimilation and uh, dynamical systems uh, with Amit and his group, uh, uh, statistical physics, condensed matter physics, 
uh, string theory, quantum field theory, biophysics, and uh, more broadly interdisciplinary mathematics. Uh, um, uh, we hope to expand into theoretical computer science uh, and such areas as well. Uh, um, uh, ICTS has also been a platform for various uh, uh, initiatives in India. It's uh, uh, the LIGO collaboration has uh, just across the corridor. Uh, 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 it's a, a tier three data center, uh, and uh, uh, in which many of the computations, uh, which went into some of the computations from the LIGO group here, uh, were carried out uh, in this. Um, uh, data center. Uh, the um, uh, India, uh, there's a, there was a proposed large data high speed network uh, for which the pilot phase was sort of uh, uh, hosted by ICTS. Uh, I, ICTS has also been internationally involved with various organizations and institutions like the ICTP, and we hold a sort of a joint quantitative biology program. We are, um, uh, we are the Indian node for the Asian winter schools in string theory, which go between India, China, Korea, and Japan. Uh, the, the ICTS summer schools in condensed matter physics, uh, uh, though they have not been running for the last year or two, but there was a sort of a series uh, of them which were very successful. Uh, we've been having a series with Brandeis on statistical physics. Uh, Amit was very involved in this Mathematics of Planet Earth initiative, which maybe many of you have heard about in 2013, which was a global thing, and there was a, a big exhibition in Bangalore where, uh, which attracted many school students and uh, college students. Uh, um, so, um, so that was about some of the ICTS uh, initiatives. Uh, what about our programs themselves, uh, like the current one? Uh, well, we typically envisage our program to have uh, three components, set of pedagogical lectures, uh, which we are starting off with uh, here uh, by experts, which would sort of, the uh, goal is to sort of uh, train young researchers and people wishing to enter a new area. Uh, there's a, uh, often a discussion component uh, where, uh, where you don't sort of uh, pack it with talks, but have more relaxed format uh, talks, but uh, which are more informal and give researchers a chance to exchange ideas and strike up collaboration. And then a more conventional symposium aspect where uh, uh, researchers can present latest work on a topic. Uh, one of the things we would like to see in our program is to have uh, the participation, active participation of students and postdocs, and I'm happy to see, I think, many of you are students and postdocs here. Uh, uh, so uh, please uh, uh, feel that you're an integral part of this program. Bug the lecturers, ask them questions, talk to them after the, uh, after the uh, lectures. Uh, so the whole infrastructure is meant for people to sort of get together, talk, discuss. Uh, 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 you're sufficiently far away from the city not to be distracted by its uh, uncertain charms or uh, whatever. So uh, anyway, uh, the, uh, the other idea is uh, 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 to, uh, to, of course, get new em and emerging areas of research incubated in India to develop sort of expertise within the country for uh, areas which so far may not have been represented. And, uh, and in many cases, uh, it's a forum for theory and experiment to also sort of uh, meet each other. In terms of numbers, we've had over 107 programs and 36 discussion meetings uh, with a large number of participants and a sizable number from abroad. Uh, so I think it's fair to say that there's been a tangible impact on the Indian science scene. Most of these programs were held in other places so far, but now with our campus infrastructure ready, we, uh, all programs will be hosted here. Uh, and uh, 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 we have a large number of them lined up. Uh, uh, so the summer season sort of is very busy and you're sort of kicking it off uh, right now. Um, this is a sampling of various programs we've had. Uh, as you can see, it's a wide range uh, from the cosmic microwave background uh, to uh, uh, finance, uh, the 750GV at the Large Hadron Collider, chemistry, biology, clouds, uh, uh, and so on. So, um, uh, uh, so, uh, we also have a set of named lecture series, uh, the Chandrasekhar lecture series in the physical sciences, the Ramanujan lecture series in maths, 
and the Alan Turing newly established lecture series in biology, computer science, engineering, and so on, where we've had a number of very uh, eminent speakers uh, who deliver lectures on various uh, important areas in their, uh, in, their, in their specialties. And the first lecture is typically at a colloquium level, while the remaining ones are addressed to specialists. Uh, these are typically part of a discussion meeting on, uh, on a related topic. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, we'll have an Alan Turing lecture uh, in the end of June. Probably some of you might be there for the program, um, uh, by, sort of overlaps with the last part of your program. Uh, I think um, uh, this is by Chris Moore from Santa Fe Institute. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, we also have Abdus Salam lectures in Science and Society, ICTS Distinguished Lectures, ICTS Public Lectures, and so on. Uh, so this is how, this is the uh, typical artist's impression of our campus, uh, but I think uh, you can see the buildings are all more or less in shape now. It's the greenery which is lacking, which uh, hopefully when you come by next time, you, we'll have more of, the, more of that, but uh, I hope you enjoy your stay in the campus, and uh, if there are any problems or difficulties and any feedback to give, we would be very, uh, very happy to hear from you. So thank you and enjoy your stay. <laughs>